How did huge, flightless birds like ostriches, emus, and kiwis end up on continents so far apart? For a long time, scientists thought these birds, known as ratites, evolved from a single flightless ancestor on the ancient supercontinent Gondwana. As Gondwana slowly broke apart, the theory suggested these already flightless birds were carried along on the separating landmasses, such as Africa, South America, and New Zealand. However, a recent fossil discovery is challenging this idea. A small shin bone found in New Zealand belongs to an ancient bird named Diomedioides, which lived about 16 to 19 million years ago. Unlike its giant modern relatives, Diomedioides was small and, crucially, could fly. This fossil suggests that the ancestors of today's flightless ratites were actually capable of flight. The new evidence indicates that after Gondwana split, these flying ancestors dispersed across oceans to different continents and islands. Once they reached these new homes, they independently lost the ability to fly over millions of years, adapting to their specific environments. This means that flightlessness likely evolved multiple times in different ratite groups, rather than just once in a common ancestor. This groundbreaking fossil provides strong physical proof for a theory that genetic studies have been hinting at for years.